Welcome to another video. I am the Starman, and as you can see, I am wearing these rather funky glasses today. These are actually solar safety glasses. They allow you to look at the sun safely. Uh, I'll just take them off because I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, wow, I can see again. Yeah, so these are actually fairly cheap. You can pick these. In fact, I got these for free. They're, they're part of a charity, the Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project. We got these in 2017 when I went to see the Great American Eclipse. Yeah, so that was absolutely amazing. It was a total solar eclipse. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because I want to let you know that on Tuesday this week, Tuesday the 25th of October, starting around about 10 o'clock until midday, we're going to get a partial solar eclipse. I'll just put my real glasses on. Right, yeah, so what's going to happen is we're going to have a partial solar eclipse on Tuesday the 25th. Yeah, and like I say, it depends where you are in the country, but roughly starts around about 10 o'clock in the morning and it lasts for up to two hours, depending on where you are. Now, it will differ from the south coast. You're not so great on the south coast, better towards the north and probably towards the east. Now, what's going to happen is the sun, the sun is going to be obscured slightly by the moon. The moon is going to actually move slightly in front of the sun. It's going to take a little bit of a bite out of the sun. I'll show you a picture on the screen now which is what we might expect to see. Now, you can't look at the sun with your eyes. Obviously, you need to use some method like, maybe, well, you can do if you're wearing those glasses like I've got there, but there are other ways that you can look at it. So like I say, I think if you're living further north, you get a bit more of the eclipse. You get a little bit more of the moon moving in front of the sun. Now, the moon orbits the Earth every 27.3 days, but every time it does go around, it goes in front of the sun, but it doesn't go right past the sun all the time. It tends to be above the sun or below the sun when it goes around that end there, when we have like a new moon, you know. But around about every 18 months or so, it actually touches the sun and it might even obscure the sun completely. But this time for us, it's only clipping the sun slightly, but it's not going to be spectacular. But I just thought I'd mention it to you and see if you get a chance to have a look at it. Now, if you don't have any of those glasses that I've got showed you there, you can put a pinhole in a cardboard and project the sun through the cardboard onto a wall or something or onto a piece of paper. And you can actually see the imprint of the sun on there. You can do it that. You can even use binoculars. Don't look through the binoculars. You can use binoculars pointed towards the sun and, and you can project the image. You can get a bit of a larger image. You can even use, believe it or not, a tea strainer. And what will happen is you'll get loads of little dots and as the moon takes a chunk out of the sun, you'll see you'll see those dots have like the, the chunk. That's a great way. There's a few ways that you can see the sun without actually looking at it with your own eyes. But if you are lucky enough to have some of those glasses that I've got, you can get to see it. So like I say, Tuesday, 25th of October, it starts at around about 10 o'clock where the moon just starts to make first contact with the, the sun there. And then we start to get a shadow coming over the earth. It's not gonna make any difference to the light. It will not make any difference at all. You will not notice any light drop at all because we're only getting the penumbral shadow of the moon and it's going to last until about midday before it kind of slides off again so there you go a partial solar eclipse tuesday the 25th of october for around about 10 o'clock until midday and if you get a chance to see it using any of those techniques that i just mentioned then i hope you have clear skies anyway i hope you like this video i'll see you again on the next one